Welcome to Emerson's how-to video series for the Rosemount Slurry Magnetic Flow Meter platform. This video will teach you how to install the Rosemount MS Slurry Magnetic Flow Meter sensor. For the complete set of installation instructions, please refer to the MS Quick Install Guide, which can be found at emerson.com forward slash Rosemount Slurry Magnetic. Note the warnings and safety information found in the 8782 Quick Start Guide and take necessary precautions to ensure safe work practices. Prepare the sensor for installation. Do not remove the sensor from the packaging until it is at the job site. Do not remove the wooden end caps from the sensor until it is ready to be installed into the piping system. Once at the job site, remove the sensor from the packaging. Prepare the pipe for installation. Creating a good process reference is critical for magnetic flow meter operation. For non-lined metal pipe, the ground straps can be connected directly to the piping. Use grounding rings or lining protectors in lined or non-metallic pipe. It may be necessary to have a ground connection at the sensor to avoid ground loops or to comply with local or plant electrical codes. Ground loops can result in electrode saturation, resulting in the meter reading dropping to zero flow. Remove the wooden end caps. Use lifting straps or lifting lugs to hoist the meter into place. Never lift the sensor by the neck or by placing something through the body of the meter. Be sure to use gaskets when installing the sensor. If using grounding rings, gaskets must be used on both sides of the grounding ring. If using spiral wound or flex italic gaskets, lining protectors must be used. Tighten the bolts using a star pattern. Tighten bolts in 20% increments, alternating between upstream and downstream flanges. Continue tightening bolts in this pattern in 20% increments until the specified torque value is reached. Connect the meter grounding straps. Unlined metallic pipe, connect straps to pipe flange. Lined metallic pipe or non-metallic pipe, connect straps to grounding ring or lining protector. If necessary, connect grounding ring or lining protector to local earth ground at the sensor. Check the system for leaks. All meters are factory tested to 1.5 times the maximum flange pressure rating. If a leak is found, continue to tighten the bolts in 10% increments. Do not exceed the maximum torque value of the bolts. Check the meter 24 hours after installation for leaks. If a leak is found, tighten bolts following the same procedure used to install the meter. This concludes the how-to video for installing the Rosemount MS Slurry Magnetic Flow Meter Sensor. For the complete set of installation instructions, please refer to the MS Installation Guide and Manual in the MS Quick Install Guide. Note the warnings and safety information found in the 8782 Quick Start Guide and take necessary precautions to ensure safe work practices. Be sure to check out our other how-to videos to learn how to install, configure, and verify your flow meter. To learn more, visit us at emerson.com forward slash Rosemount Slurry Magnetic.